two brothers. Long ago, when tigers smoked long pipes, there were two brothers who lived near each other. The elder brother was the richer, yet he was so greedy and stingy that he would squeeze the blood of a flea for a drink. The younger brother was kind and good, with a heart as fine as brocade, but he had little of wealth. One fall day, the younger brother went into the mountains hoping to find some food. When he saw a tree full of nuts, he reached up and plucked one, saying, "This is for Abaji." But suddenly, behind him, a voice said, "Abaji." He picked another nut. "This is for Amarni." And the voice echoed, "Amarni." A little shiver ran up his back, but he reached for one more, and this is for Harabaji. Harabaji, repeated the voice. Now the man wondered and worried. Who was behind him? Who or what was saying those words? Should he turn around, or just ignore them? He decided to pick some more nuts and see what happened. Hmm. Here's another for Abaji, he said, and heard Abaji. Carefully, with his fingers shaking a little, he reached for one more, saying, "And another for Harabaji." Harabaji. <gasps> The man now felt quite nervous. His spine seemed almost as soft as bean curd. He was all alone up in the mountain. Except for the thing behind him, maybe it was a ghost or a strange creature like a tokebi. He just had to know. So he took a deep breath to give him courage, and slowly bent down to pick up a stick. Then he stood up and suddenly spun round, raised his stick, and saw nothing. Up. Absolutely nothing. He looked up in the trees and saw nothing. Then he looked down on the ground and found a turtle. A turtle talking? He said. Why not? Said the voice. I've never met a talking turtle. Said the man. Now you have, the turtle replied. The man eagerly invited the turtle to his home, and they returned together. His wife and parents were delighted with the turtle. They all talked and laughed the whole night long. In the morning, the turtle agreed to go with the man to a nearby village. There, the man spread out his best mat, placed the turtle gently upon it, and called, "Come, hear a talking turtle." A crowd soon gathered, and the man addressed the turtle in a polite voice. "Please, dear friend, we would be honored if you could count for us." And the turtle said, "Hana, dul, set, net, tasot." Oh! All who heard marvelled at the turtle. They asked for more, so the turtle kept on talking. As he spoke, the people threw coins. By the end of the day, the turtle's talk had filled a big bag, so the two returned happily home. The next morning, when the man was counting the money, his elder brother came over. "Where did you get all this?" he demanded. "Here, brother, take some," offered the young man. "It came from a turtle." "A turtle." Yes, a, a talking turtle. Talking turtle? Where is it? I want it. Give it to me. I'm your elder brother. Well, remember that he is my good friend," said the brother. "If he agrees, you may take him for a day, but be very careful." And so it was arranged. The greedy man grabbed the turtle and, thinking only of gold, carried him roughly to the village. He tossed him on the ground there and called out. Hurry, hurry here and throw money! This turtle looks funny, but he sure can talk. People soon gathered, eager to hear the turtle again. The man turned to the turtle and barked, "Talk, talk, 
Now talk. But there was no answer. You silly turtle, speak. Only silence. Come on, turtle. But the turtle was as quiet as a thief bitten by a dog. Soon, the people began to laugh and snicker and walk away. The man was furious. He pushed the turtle in a sack, rushed to his brother's home, and threw it on the ground, shouting, Take this back! It's useless! Then he stormed home. The kind brother heard the noise and ran out. He opened the sack and saw his turtle. With its back broken, its heart stopped. He picked the turtle up gently, and with his family, he gave it a fine burial in the best part of his little yard. In the morning, he arose sadly, thinking still of the turtle. He walked outside to wash, and then stopped in wonder. For there, growing right out of the turtle's grave, was a tree. A tree that grew and grew and grew, like magic. While he watched, the leaves spread wide and welcome. That evening, as he stood under the tree, admiring it and remembering his friend, gold and silver suddenly poured down upon him. And just then, his greedy brother came by. Where did this come from? He growled, kicking the coins. From my turtle, said his brother. Please, please take some. No, I don't want your old coins. I want my own tree, cried the brother. Then he reached up and yanked off the biggest branch. He raced home quicker than a crab hiding its eyes. He planted the branch, splashed water all over it, and it grew too. Soon it was large and green and inviting, so he called to his wife, who was as greedy as he. Hurry up and stand here. Bring some big bags, very big bags. We have lots of gold to catch. So the two stood there, thinking greedy thoughts, holding their bags wide open and waiting for the gold to rain down. Well, something did drop down into their bags, in their hair, on their clothes, all over them. Some things. Not gold, not silver, but worms, centipedes, poison spiders, snakes, and other crawling creatures that chased the two as they ran and ran, crying, Help! Help! At last, after a long and horrid time, they reached safety on a nearby hill. And when they returned home much later, the brother realized that his greed brought only trouble. He went to his younger brother and begged his forgiveness. And from that day on, the two brothers lived in harmony, sharing everything, both good and bad.